And now local news. Talk Radio 790 KABC News at 11.02. I am Daniel Martindale. A search for survivors is underway after a helicopter with six people on board crashed near the California-Nevada border in San Bernardino County. The FAA confirms the helicopter went down at about 10 o'clock last night east of the 15 freeway near the town of Nipton. Authorities believe the helicopter took off from Palm Springs. The principal of a high school in the Corona Norco Unified School District has been arrested on suspicion of failing to report abuse. 44-year-old Greg Anderson is the principal at Eleanor Roosevelt High School in Eastvale. Yesterday, Riverside County Sheriff's deputies brought him in for allegedly violating state mandatory reporting laws. The investigation dates back to April of last year when a teacher was accused of having inappropriate contact with students. That teacher was arrested back in November. Crews are investigating a major fire in the Green Meadows neighborhood of South L.A. that is now confirmed to be deadly. Early this morning, a man's body was found inside a commercial building that was housing a cannabis operation. 790 KBC Sports, home of the USC Trojans. USC men's basketball team faces Stanford up north at 7 o'clock tonight. Trojans have lost seven of their last eight. Stanford has dropped two straight so something has to give. To listen to the game, just do what you're doing right now. Keep it right here on KBC. KBC SoCal weather. There's no rain in the forecast, but some areas are seeing strong winds this morning. It should be clear and sunny, but on the cooler side, downtown LA is expected to barely reach the 60s today. Similar highs are expected in the OC and IE. Daniel Martindale, KBC News. From California's capital city, now trending on KFBK, Sacramento's News Radio. An atmospheric river is rolling through California. Rain has already started falling in the northern half of the state and should start in Southern California late tonight or early tomorrow morning. In the Sacramento Valley, the heaviest rain is expected between 10 p.m. and 3 a.m. The region could see one to one and a half inches of rain during that period. Forecasters are also calling for wind gusts between 40 and 45 miles per hour. The storm also means snow in the Sierra. Chain controls will likely be required above 6,000 feet. And in anticipation of the rain, water releases have started over the Orville Dam spillway. Earlier today, the California Department of Water Resources started releasing water from Lake Orville into the Feather River. Officials want to give the dam room to take in more water from storm runoff. The lake was at 842 feet, which is 76% of its storage capacity. And a father-son duo is behind bars in connection with a series of robberies at ATMs in Gold River. Detectives say the 20-year-old son is the primary suspect, but his dad served as his getaway driver. The robberies happened between September and December of last year. That was a quick look at the latest news. I'm Daniel Martindale. WMAL News at 3.02. I am Daniel Martindale. A man is dead and three others are injured after a shooting in Trinidad in northeast D.C. last night. 5th District Commander Sylvan Altieri says police responded to a call for a shooting inside a building on Rom Street around 10 p.m. He says they found one victim inside, one outside, and two took themselves to hospitals. One died. People that did this have no respect for human life. The violence that's being committed by people for nothing. It's just, we've got to, it's got to stop. There is no word yet on what prompted the shootings or who opened fire. D.C. Mayor Muriel Bowser is not giving up the fight to keep the Wizards and Caps at Capital One Arena, despite owner Ted Leonsis' proposal to move the teams to Potomac Yard. She writes in an op-ed in the Washington Post that Monumental's revenue and profits are stronger than they've ever been, thanks to fans coming to games from D.C. She says they want to keep that mutually beneficial success going, which is why they're offering Monumental $500 million to help renovate the aging arena. Meanwhile, Virginia Governor Governor Glenn Youngkin says the state, city of Alexandria, and Monumental have reached a preliminary deal for a $2 billion public-private partnership to create a world-class entertainment district in Potomac Yard. The Kansas City Chiefs aren't the only Chiefs in our area involved in competition with their teams this weekend. Fairfax County Police Chief Kevin Davis and Fire Chief John Butler are playing in the County Shelter's Chief vs. Chief Animal Adoption Bowl. Davis says, I wish I could claim it as my idea, but the Creativity and Innovation Award goes to direct Director Risa Courier and her staff at the Fairfax County Animal Shelter. Who came up with the idea of having the Chiefs compete to see who can get the most dogs adopted for their teams this weekend? Butler says the staff's creativity is only surpassed by their love and passion and compassion for animals. So it was an easy yes for myself. Adoption fees are being waived for all dogs 45 pounds or more this weekend. WMAL news time is 3.04. I am Daniel Martindale. Now let's check WMAL traffic and weather from the Hadid Carpet Cleaning Traffic Center. 